Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 7th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here at the last 48 hours on our star. Large plasma filament, southwest region, no major solar flares to talk about, other than the M class that was reported yesterday. And it did not produce an incoming CME. Looking at a cresting imagery here, this is incoming. We do have now four Earth facing sunspots. Northern regions looking very complex. Looking at outgoing here, this is where we saw a couple CMEs taking off on the backside from that large M class solar flare. Left hand side is where that one went off. Having a look at multi spectrum, all of the last 48 hours of events, pointing out the active regions. Large plasma filaments stretching across the surface there in the southern hemisphere. And active sunspot regions. Having a look at multi-spectrum there, there's our last M-class solar flare that was in an outgoing position, produced a faint CME towards Mercury. Other than that, pretty quiet for the past 48 hours. No major radio blackouts or geomagnetic storms to report. Space weather conditions very calm right now, sitting at 490 kilometers per second, though. Solar X-ray flux going down into a moderate sea range after dropping right off there earlier today. Geomagnetic activity, KP of 2. Have a quick look here at our magnetosphere. This is our pressure planes. When we saw almost 700 kilometers per second over the past 24 hours. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the CME taking off in an outgoing position, giving Mercury a glancing blow. And here is the last two days of imagery. Lasco 3 showing all of our sun's energy blasting off from the surface. No new Earth-facing CMEs or flares to talk about. Pretty quiet sun today. Schumann resonance for today, a very strong power of 60. Healthy, healthy spike there this afternoon. Quality of 7.5, frequency max 8.18, power of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we did see some sizable earthquakes today. 6.0 rocking here, Papua New Guinea, Kavang, Papua New Guinea, followed by a 5.3 in Kokopo, and as well a 6.0 earthquake here in San Mariano, Philippines, and as well Bandican for 5.6 there, Philippines. 5.4 there, Band of Sea, as well a 4.4 earthquake here, south of Fiji Islands, 565 kilometer depth, that's the deepest the past 24 hours. Bandar Lampung, right by Krakatoa, 5.3, India, 4.9, Bamboo Flats, as well Afghanistan reporting a 4.0, and aftershocks still rocking Turkey. Looking at South America. DC, some activity here. San Antonio do de Cobros, 4.5, and as well a 4.7 there in Bolivia. 5.0 earthquake here, reported Colombia, and as well a 4.5 Panama. Dominican Republic, very active today, a large 3.9, largest through the region, and seeing activity come back here to the United States, 3.8 there, Pinnacles, California as well as 3.6 Toya, and increasing activity around Yellowstone, minor activity there in Hawaii, 
Alaska seeing minor activity increase to 4.5. Sand Point, Alaska, largest to the region. USGS is reporting just over 220 earthquakes in the past 24-hour period. Quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Take a quick moment to thank all of my followers. I really appreciate all of the love and support that you put towards this channel and for being a part of this amazing community. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. We've got our spring equinox coming up and we've got a full warm moon tonight. Expecting the seismicity to increase over the next three weeks. Most certainly into April. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Nevada's de Ruiz in Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Popocatépetl in Mexico, as well as Semeru in Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala, Karangatang in Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia. Lots of volcanoes getting updated today. Era in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Ebico in Russia. That's all in the last 16 hours. So that's 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 16 to maybe 20 that are active and erupting across the, across the world. Having a look here at cloud cover around the world, big system grinding down the west coast of the United States still. Watch for that to bring wild weather across the United States and into Canada this weekend. Strong low pressure system in northern territory of Australia. As well, a pretty strong system just whipped across Tasmania. And then we've got this month-long tropical cyclone, Freddy, who is still forecast to head back to South Africa and then back out to Madagascar. Interesting, interesting times. Now let's have a look at the world weather forecast, starting out here, overlooking North America and the Atlantic. Pretty strong winter storm over the Atlantic as well. Large low off the coast of Oregon and Washington. Cooler temperatures sweeping across the nation over the next couple days. We're going to be in the minus and as well, very windy. Then we've got this system that's going to be moving in Thursday into Friday. Watch for extreme weather through the United States. At the same time, we've got this big low, Pacific low grinding down the coastline here. Set to bring in an atmospheric river of moisture to yet again California. And then by Friday, here is that system, winter storm for Ontario. And then as this low pressure system slowly grinds eastward, Friday into Saturday, watch for some pretty strong winds and extreme weather heading into northeastern United States as that big low moves out. And as well, Alberta Clipper and Colorado Low moving through. Lots of moisture along the west coast this week plentiful so heads up watch through the gulf sunday into monday next weekend big system there developing for ontario yet again having a look at south america daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of colombia and as well lima pretty strong low pressure system there in the south atlantic matching the north atlantic and then we've got Cyclone Freddy here looking at the forecast. Looks like it's making landfall through parts of Zimbabwe Friday into Saturday. And then watch it get ushered out yet again back out into the South Indian Ocean and across Madagascar before slowly heading towards the Antarctic. Overlooking Europe. Lots of moisture heading in this week. 
Low pressures coming in from the North Atlantic. Watch for snowfall through eastern parts of Europe and windy and wet conditions all across. Having a look at West Pacific, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones developing. Low pressure center there just east of the Philippines could bring some pretty heavy rains. And then overlooking Australia and New Zealand, you still have that low pressure system through the Northern Territory. It's going to slowly grind down the east side of Australia before running into a high pressure ridge. A pretty cool one at that. And then long range forecast, another big system here roaring south of Australia. Going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as we do have an atmospheric river developing here. Long range forecast showing a lot of moisture and some strong lows heading into California, Oregon, Washington, and as well some pretty strong systems heading into Alaska. Watch for heavy snowfalls through that region. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider giving a big old thumbs up. Share with your friends. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.